you doing? Good to see you, brother. See you. In this way. Just hanging over here, look. At the other suits. Yeah, you're gonna lose that it. That is unbelievable. It looks like a black floral paisley. Feels pretty good. Black jeans are tailored for you. There's nothing I love more. You know, my friend David August shows up with custom made suits. Let me try these cufflinks. Those are killer. They kind of go with everything. What about shades? What shades would you just pick right there? Yeah, I love it. It's very perfect, huh? There's a lot of work. There's a lot of business, so I like to look good. Oh, yeah. A lot of fresh shorts, you can't have too many. You have to have a lot of fresh white. You know what I mean? You only wear it once. Some more suits, three pieces. I'm surrounded by a lot of luxuries. They have been built through sacrifice and continue to be built through sacrifice. The shoes, all the Reeboks, the Louis Pythons. I'm proud of all the luxuries I have in my life, but I... Don't forget that. I must work hard. Uh, to get it. Okay. Team McGregor, eh? It's it's good up here at the top. Is that your I did refocus me and uh, re-motivated me, so I think uh, you'll see a more passionate fighter, and uh, you know I'm going up there to close the fight. The Red King, Rory McDonald. Does this crowd still get you amped up? Yeah, these guys are bringing a lot of excitement. I'm excited. Keep that well. Come on, Red Rock, Red Hook. Biggest fight of the year, baby. It's always just exciting to get in when there's a lot of hype around a fight. You know, sometimes it's tough when there is none. You know, it's, sometimes it's tough to stay motivated in the gym when you're going through the same grind every single day. So when you got someone feeding your fire, it definitely makes for a more interesting training camp. Uh, anytime you're in there pushing yourself to the limits, you have that in the back of your mind to just go that little extra. inside of the octagon on Saturday night. There's no way that guy's getting in my head. The thing is a still trap and I'm prepared for battle. I can hit like Mike Tyson in there, especially with those little gloves on, and I'm looking to put someone to sleep. Thank you all for joining us here. I'm excited to be here today for UFC 189. Let's get to the first question. Yesterday, Connor was talking about some tweets that you sent to uh, Jose Aldo, and he said- Pussy that that move, yeah? That's, that was a pussy move, little You're coward. a pussy, dude. Trying to be friendly. You're you. trying to be little friends with him. Mm. Oh, please, can I have your fans? It's a bitch move, yeah? It's respect, It's what a man bro, does when respect. he's close Something to death. Something you know nothing when about When a man is close to death, that's what it's he does. He looks to punch up. Athlete. When a man is close God, to I'm death, that's what he looks to, to do. He looks to booty up. Keep talking. He looks to booty. I can't even understand what you're saying. 
Connor, let me just ask you, you mentioned in the past that you're going to butcher this guy. Explain that to me. Yeah, his facial structure will be rearranged after the fight. Um, he is a novice on the feet. He swings the overhand, looks at the floor, closes his eyes, hopes for the best. You know, I don't see smoothness uh, uh, in, in the wrestling ex exchanges. It's more of a drive, mm -hmm. a push. This isn't fucking yoga. We're fighting, dude. It's going to be uncomfortable. I've been ready for this fight since the first time I've seen him fight in the UFC. I mean, we have guys on my team that are tall, long southpaws that can emulate this monkey over here. I'm going to kill this man across from me. He's a little five foot two twerp. He should have kept his mouth shut, and I'm gonna slap the face off him, and that's it. And, uh, Connor, I'm gonna fucking embarrass you, dude. I'm gonna destroy your life. You know, you wipe all that hype out of here, I'm gonna get in there and destroy this dude. Bottom line. You're gonna get mad, he's a fucking asshole, you know? No, I, I wanted to come into this it. press conference, you know, talk a little bit of shit. Good, you know? perfect. I know. But I mean, I know what I gotta do. I'll stay focused. Okay. It's not gonna change nothing. It's like a fucking ass. His little dumb words don't mean shit. Talking, he's to talk about him. Maybe laugh when he's saying, "We got it. We, we got it set, man. It's everything we've been working on is exactly what's come falling into place. Yeah. The plan is set. Yep. Every, he does the same things that we Get talked about. The work on. Hit him right in his fucking hour. He's all amped up. Yeah, he's perfect. That's what he knows. He knows. Yeah. He knows. He knows, man. That's what we get. All the mistakes he makes, all the shit he does wrong. He's gonna see. Motherfucker. You know, when the fight edges closer, the the face becomes blank. It always is the same. I become colder. So I see nothing. I see an object in the way that's about to get removed. It's all done now. Now it's time to fight. It's time to put up or shut up. After this, he will never speak my name in vain again.